Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, September 6, 2022. You can be especially open with talking about, or analyzing, very personal matters today, although you can be a little detached about it all. It's an excellent time to clarify your goals in a partnership or see your own needs from others more clearly. A Sun-Uranus aspect influencing the day can inspire you, making you more in tune with your need for new ideas and experiences. Friends and acquaintances or new plans and dreams can be part of this inspired feeling. Courses, networking, teamwork, and publishing opportunities can be areas of improvement. Friends and alliances formed through your studies or extracurricular activities can be in focus and successful. You especially enjoy sharing viewpoints, personal philosophies, and opinions with others and making exciting discoveries in the process. While a strong day for you on social and mental levels, consider that because the moon is balsamic, it's best not to push forward with new plans just yet. The sun continues to energize and revitalize your ninth house of adventure, expansion, and unknown territory, but it is now approaching a sextile to Uranus via your 11th house of associations, community, and sense of belonging in the world. Is this love interest worth the risk? There's an exciting journey ahead. But before you embark on this magic carpet ride, you're being called to follow your heart and use your discernment. Both the Moon and Mercury will be transiting through Sagittarius your 8th house of mergers, shared resources, and soulmate connections bringing awareness to the foundation of your connection. However, something could seem out of the box. A typical financial and professional opportunities are worth considering. The Moon has left your opposite sign, for Sagittarius today, implying that you are ready to think outside of the box when it comes to your fiscal security. The Moon is rather level-headed in Sagittarius, so you can take how you feel out of the equation when considering your investments, shared resources, and assets. As you consider your opportunities, think about which ones are unique to your long-term plans and goals. You may find that a unique or unlikely opportunity could dramatically transform your finances for the better. Just four days before Venus and Mars, the planets of money and passion are due to return to your financial sector, the moon leaves just as Mercury and Saturn align here. As well as leaving you with your financial instincts and imagination fueled, this is a read on planets that are already giving you the smart head for money and the resolve to take your financial power back. Ignore everything your big head tells you. Your heart is the real master right now. No matter where it leads, make sure you follow along like a baby duckling. Today you can feel in tune with your most important emotions. You might attempt to focus your energy on creating affection instead of simply unleashing it. You need plenty of affection in your life in order to feel your best. When words fail, try to give yourself the opportunity to express your needs through affecting others in a positive light. You have a special connection to the economy. Giving your time or money to a needy cause helps you feel pleasantly connected with the world. The energetic essence of this day can give you the oomph to take some action in your personal life. As you know, not everything can be about work in your life. However, incorporating this into your day-to-day -day regimen can be challenging for you. If you take the time to make some plans to dedicate a certain amount of time each day or week to the people who are important to you, this can be an essential step towards creating more balance. Use your time management skills to make this happen. As much as Mercury and Venus will be using their last weekend together in your income sector to keep heart and mind on the same page, the stars are aligned in a way that could make this a defining point in this financial year. Two days away from leaving, Mercury is focused on leaving you with the smart head for money needed to keep your head in the game while a friendly aspect to Pluto is linking this with the planet that is keeping things on track professionally. Even having the moon in your financial sector is putting both sides of the financial fence into perspective. The moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday has not only left you more emotionally engaged but with a better sense of what you want from your relationships and what they need from you. This wrapped up a seven-day period that saw the moon focus first on matters of the heart and then your relationships, 
with these first visits since Venus left Aries a chance to cement your expectations on both fronts. Our eyes in the sky. This morning's first quarter moon in Sagittarius means we might find it difficult to organize our thoughts, and articulating emotions could be next to impossible. This aspect can cause a lot of frustration because we want to connect with others but find it challenging. Misunderstandings are likely to manifest. Try to postpone any important conversations until after this energy clears. If you're unable to avoid interacting with others, think carefully about what you want to convey before speaking. Once the moon moves farther into Sagittarius, you might become a bit impatient, but remaining calm will pay off. A minor aspect between the Sun and Pluto can be helpful in overcoming any conversational hurdles, but only if you take the time to consider your words before sharing them. This aspect might also come to the rescue if your mind is a bit scattered. Through structure, time constraints and focusing on your responsibilities, you can muscle through any mental fog. Create a to-do list to help you stay on task, and apologize to anyone you have a less than pleasant encounter with. By sharing our feelings through music or writing, our ideas remain open to interpretation. Others can then connect with us emotionally by bearing witness instead of sharing a reciprocal dialogue. In the evening, the moon sextals Uranus in Taurus, stimulating surprises. Too much weight today has been placed on trying to rationalize our circumstances. At this time, something happens to shock us out of this expectation. We realize that we have been taking things too seriously, that life is baffling, and that we should enjoy the ride. In the pre-dawn hours, the Sagittarius moon sextals Saturn in Aquarius, offering patience. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and our dreams may feature Saturnian characters, perhaps family members or authority figures, who offer us advice. Transmissions will feel so natural that we might fail to remember the details of our dreams upon waking. It is a good idea to keep a journal handy to record recollections. They can prove meaningful as we go about our day. The cosmic energy is very dense, which is why it would be best to rest and retreat instead of try to connect with people. Watch a movie and take a nap instead of falling down the rabbit hole of paranoia. After sunup, the moon squares off with Neptune in Pisces, prompting confusion. Two dreamy, emotional bodies meeting in the zodiac's two most idealistic signs, what could possibly go wrong? The risk here is that we read too much into situations, becoming overly sensitive and moody. Misunderstandings lead to disappointment. A desire to believe in someone or something despite good reason to maintain our boundaries can make us vulnerable to deceit. Avoid consulting divination practices, as these will not provide the clarity we seek. 